Count on one, two, or three. This is lesson 3.2. We can count on to add numbers. To count on, we start counting from the greater add end. If we have five and we want to count on one, we start counting with the five, it's greater than one, and we count on the one, five, six. Five plus one is equal to six. If we have five and we want to add two, we start with the five, we start counting on with the five, we count on two, five, six, seven. Five plus two is equal to seven. For five plus three, we start with the larger add end, five, and we count on three. Five, six, seven, eight. We don't need to count up to five. If we add five plus three, we don't need to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already know that's a five. We just start with the five and say six, seven, eight. Counting on is like adding. We start with the greater add in and count on to find the sum. When we count on, we start with the greater add end. This means we start with the larger number. If we see three plus eight, we start with the greater number, the eight. Then we count on the three, eight, nine, 10, 11. Eight is greater than three. We started with the eight and we counted on three. It's eight, nine, 10, 11. Nine plus two, the nine is greater than two. That's the larger add end. We start with the nine and count on two, nine, 10, 11. Nine plus two is equal to 11. We can circle the greater add end and count on to find the sum. One plus seven, the seven is the greater add end. Seven, eight. One plus seven is equal to eight. Six plus two. Do you know which one is the greater add end? If you said six, you're right. We start with the six and we count on two. Six, seven, eight. Three plus seven. Seven is the greater add end. We start with the seven and count on three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight plus one. Eight is the greater add end. Eight, nine. Three plus five, five is the greater add end, isn't it? Five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five is equal to eight. Four plus two, four is the greater add end. We start with four and count on two, four, five, six. Four plus two, is equal to six. Nine plus three. Nine is the greater add end. We start with the nine. We count on three. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine plus three is equal to 12. Five plus two. Five is the greater add end. We start with the five and count on two. Five, six, seven. Five plus two is equal to seven. One plus six. Six is the greater add end, isn't it? We count on one, six, seven. One plus six is equal to seven. Seven plus two. Seven is the greater add end. We start with seven and count on two. Seven, eight, nine. Seven plus two is equal to nine. Three plus eight, eight is the greater add end. We start with the eight and count on three. Eight, 
9, 10, 11. 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. 9 plus 1. 9 is the greater add end. We start with the 9 and we count on 1, 9, 10. Circle the greater add end and then count on. Emma has seven crayons. Tala has two crayons. They put their crayons in a box. Then Dave puts three more crayons in the box. How many crayons are in the box? So we have to do this in little steps. The first thing we do is find the greater add end. Seven is the largest number. So that's where we're going to start counting on from. Seven. Tala has two crayons. So we're going to start with seven and count on two. Seven, eight, nine. So now there's nine crayons in the box. Then Dave puts three more crayons in the box. We're at nine, so we're going to put a nine here because that's where we're starting from. Dave puts three more crayons in the box. So we're adding three more. We start with the nine and count on three, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 crayons in the box. Do you see how I did that? I did the first part, the seven plus two. I got a sum and then I wrote it here. And then I put the other three more as an add end here. And then I counted on to get 12. See? Tala and Bob pick six apples, then they pick three more. How many apples do they pick? We start with the largest add-in, six. We know it's an addition sentence because it says three more. That tells us it's a plus. We put our three here. We start with the six and add on the three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine apples. That's how many they picked. Now, which three numbers can we use to complete the problem? We have an 8, a 3, an 11, and a 12. It says, Emma eats blank grapes. Then she eats blank more grapes. The word more tells me it's an addition sentence. How many grapes did Emma eat? We have to look at these numbers and figure out which numbers can fit in here. If she ate three grapes and then 11 more, would it equal eight? We start with the larger number 11 and count on three, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, it's not three and 11. Is it three and 12? Start with the 12 and count on three. 12, 13, 14, 15? No, there's no 15 here, so that can't be it. Could it be the 8 and the 3? Start with the 8 and count on 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, it's the 8, the 3, and the 11. So we can say that she ate 8 grapes, then 3 grapes, and it equals 11 grapes. That would make the word problem true. And we can add in any order, so we don't have to have eight plus three. We could also change the order and do three plus eight. Do you remember that from the other video? And it'll still equal 11. Both ways would be correct. We could put eight and then three or three and then eight because we can add in any order. Count on from seven, write the number that shows three more. We start with the seven and count on three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Count on from eight, write the number that shows two more. Eight, nine, ten. That's also 10. Count on from nine, write the number that shows one more. Nine, 10. That's also 10. Look at that. 
7 plus 3 equals 10, 8 plus 2 equals 10, and 9 plus 1 equals 10. Do you see the pattern? This is a 7, then 8, then 9, and then these add-ins are 3, 2, 1. As these add-ins go up by 1, these add-ins are going down by 1, and they all equal 10. When we count on 3, we can use the tips of the 3 to help us. If we have 6 and we want to count on 3, we can say 6, 7, 8, 9 because there's three tips on the three. We can say 12, 13, 14, 15. We can say 8, 9, 10, 11, and that'll help us count on three. When we count on, we start with the greater add end. Our next lesson is gonna be about adding doubles. We're gonna learn doubles facts and how to add double numbers that's lesson 3.3. I'm proud of you for watching math videos, and I hope they're helpful. If they are, hit the like button. And have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.